Hi, hello. I've got a new video for you today. Um, and it's a little bit of a strange one. Not because the content is anything abnormal. It's, you know, I, I clean, I organize things, normal productivity shenanigans. It's just the context of the video itself is a little bit off because I recorded it like nearly two months ago now um, and just haven't had the chance to edit it until now. But I still really like the video. Um, I think it's a good video. I just, I, I felt the need to, to come on here and say that like, I know that it's not New Year's anymore and that it's not winter break anymore. It's just that, you know, these sorts of things happen and uh, the video is a little late, sorry. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy. I will let Graciela of the past take over now. So today is technically January 3rd, not New Year's. However, time is an illusion and humans invented the calendar and I'm a human, so I think that I can start my new year whenever I want to. And I want to start it today because um, my room is a mess, my life is a mess, and it's starting to like make me a little bit crazy. So let's go ahead and clean my room, first of all. Um, that is definitely really top priority because the unpacking situation is a little bit rough. So let's go ahead and get right into that, shall we? Chalupa. It's the Chalupa show. Sometimes my little brother while I'm gone will like put things random in my room. Um, this time he has left me some like ancient hair elastics is what I think this is. I, I don't know what to do with this.
These um, boxes are leftover from when I moved in this semester. We sent them back in the car and uh, obviously my room was empty so there was no reason to not put them here. But now that I'm back, I think I can condense them and stack them up and put them under my bed. I'm not sure. They might just end up being stacked, but right here still, but we'll give it a shot. I don't know where they came from. Um, I suspect that they're my siblings and that they just ended up in this storage stack. But I think that I can get this under my bed. <laughs> And there we have it, the room is clean. I'm not deep cleaning, decluttering, reorganizing, doing the whole thing because I'm only gonna be living here for a few more weeks and it doesn't really seem worth it, but it is clean, it is functional. It doesn't feel as claustrophobic. I feel like I can get things done, which was really the priority. And um, the cats are enjoying all of the empty floor space as well, if you couldn't tell from the uh, rattling, clanging and banging going on behind. <laughs> But that's pretty good, pretty good. I'm satisfied. Whoa, that's a lot of birds. Huh. So something else that I wanted to do this year was update my planner because for the past few years, I've been using this thing and it's super cute. It's got this like weekly layout where it's got this space for like general notes, but then otherwise it's just like seven squares, right? Where I can write out whatever I have to do that day and like see it in a weekly spread. And that has worked really well for me. But this past semester, I realized that I just wasn't getting very good use out of this because these like little squares are fairly small and I just like didn't have enough space to write down all of the stuff that I need to do. Like 
balancing my schoolwork with my YouTube channel, with all of my personal obligations and doctor's appointments and all of that stuff. Like, it just doesn't fit in one of these little squares. So I think that it is time to retire this, but what I picked up instead is the ever popular Hobonichi Teko. I got it in the A6 size, which is like a little bit smaller than this one, but the deal with this, if I go ahead and open it up here. This is cute. Doo -doo -doo. But basically, um, in this planner, each individual day has its own page. And um, I am looking at this and realizing that I bought the Japanese version and not the English version, but honestly, that's fine. There you have it. This is super cute. But what I'm really excited for is I also got this precious little cover for it. in there. Okay. Yeah, just like this. It's so cute. And I also grabbed um, this Hobonichi Papers book, which is this like book that's just like, you know, an empty little notebook, but it's got, I'll go ahead and rip one out for you. It's got this easy tear paper. I'm always like, grabbing random pieces of paper. <laughs> and just like sticking them to things anyways. So I think that this will be a like cute thing to carry around as a little companion. But yeah, isn't that precious? I'm so excited to use this. I think that having an entire page for what I need to do organizing my day, that'll suit me a lot better than just having the single square. Anyways, this is super precious. What a joy. I also have these precious mild liners. My uh, heart of hearts really wanted to buy more of these, but I think that I have enough. This isn't even all of the ones that I have. I'm just a stationary fiend, always craving more. But my new planner, 2024, here I come. Well, yes, I am an artist. Why do you ask? God, that's terrible. What have I done? Um, we're just gonna cover this up with stickers. Why are you sniffling and sniffling? Is this something that's interesting to you? What's going on? Whatever. Sometimes we make mistakes. Hey, hi, hello. It's the end of the video. In the original outline for this video, I sat down and had kind of like a journaling session with you and like talked about my hopes and dreams for the new year and what my goals were moving forward, did some reflection, etc., etc. But um, it's, it's not New Year's anymore and so that feels a little bit out of place. So instead, I'm just gonna say thank you for watching this video until the end. I know that uh, this is the first video that I've published to this channel 
uh, all year, and it's the end of February. That's a pretty long time, um, little accidental hiatus there, just some stuff going on in my personal life, medical issues mostly, making it hard to get in front of or behind the camera, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. I uh, enjoyed revisiting it, and I am super excited to show you what's going on moving forward. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I know I certainly am, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.